Go. Ah, my armor. Being strong and brave. Oh, let's get back to the video. Hello, everybody. This is Great Math with uh, me and this. Um, you know what? I'm just going to call myself JP again because I'm JP. Just in this cool cardboard armor. Tell you later how I made it. <laughs> I just get a good browse on it. With JP, with me, JP, on um, this is the number 19th video. So today we're going to do how to turn decimals into fractions with infinite, infinite decimals. So first, let's get this helmet out of the way and use my secret compartment. So we'll have to solve this problem. Now we all, most of us already know how to divide fractions by, with, de with decimals. So we're going to have to do this with powers of 10. So 25.5 is the same thing as 255 times 10 by the power of minus 1. 0 0.05 is the same thing as 5 times 10 by the power of minus 2. And since we're dividing, it's all of that but like this. And then we can take that apart during 200. 255 over 5 times 10 by the power of minus 1 over 10 by the power of minus 2 is basically 10 by the power of minus 1 times 10 by the power of minus 1. You take that out, now it's just 1 over 10 by the power of minus 1. So 2 by 255 divided by 5 is equal to 51. 51 times 1 over 10 by the power of minus 5, which is equal to 51, times 10, which is equal to 510. There we go. That's how we solved it, using powers of 10. So now, let's um, take this off too. Bye. Okay, I'm not in my armor. There we go. It's only four pieces, technically five, but you, you will not believe how quick I did that. Okay, there we go. So that's how we solve this problem. Let's move on to another one. So now, like I said, we're going to do our main thing that we were trying to do earlier, that I said earlier, 0 0.36 infinite. Now first, before we do something like this, Let's do 0 0.8 infinite. How can we find the fraction of that? So let's try to make this as something we know. We know how to do equations, so we'll make that an equation. We'll use a variable for x. We don't like fractions, we'll multiply it by 10. So it's 8 times 8 by forever equals to 10x. Now, we really want to get rid of that decimal, and we still can't just keep on multiplying 10. We're going to have to multiply 10 forever, every time forever, so we don't want to do that. So we'll just minus x, and x here is equal to that. So that will be 8.8, 8. 8 forever minus 8 forever is equal to 10x minus x. Now, you would think that there should be, after the end of forever, there would be a zero. But no, forever's forever. You can't change it. You just automatically, for some reason, magically move a digit forward. But, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. This is 0 0.8 here, or this is oh, 8? Oh, yes. Okay. Sorry. okay. Thank you. Thank you for catching that, Dad. Okay, so then we will minus that. That will be 8, because, like I said, forever, forever, they're saying, doesn't matter. They're forever. We don't want to calculate that. <laughs> That'd be a lot more numbers than I could fit on this board, so I don't want to try that. 9x. Now, remember, we want to get rid of that, so we have to do 1 over 9, use it's reciprocal. x is still there. 8 over 9 is equal to x. There we go. That's the fraction. So that means 0.8888888. Yeah, forever. So equal x. 
equals eight. I mean, eight. equals equals eight over nine. Oh, okay. Okay. So, and then that gives you an uh, idea. What is zero point two forever? I'm gonna tell you this because I really have to get going on these problems. It's two over nine. So anything zero point something, just one number, one digit number, the de the end result, the bottom, it will be the same thing, but you just take out this, take out this, and you put a nine over the So that. zero point n with a bar on the top. Point. Yes, that will end forever, that will be n over nine. Oh, okay, okay. There you go. So now, let's move on to these actual problems. It will be a similar way how we solve it. So, if you want to be a pro, just stop, look at all these, try to solve them. If you can't, play again, and watch me do them, explaining to you. So, we don't like this, so we were going to close to x. We don't like that. Well, if we put a 3, remember how that step we minus x? How will we minus 3, 6, and then 3 over 3 minus 6, or 6 minus 3? That would just be really hard. So let's just mul multiply by 100, because that makes everything a lot easier. Then that makes it 36.36 .36 forever is equal to 100x. Minus x, 36.36 forever, minus 0 0.36 forever, is equal to 100x minus x. That will be then 36 is equal to 99x. There you go. And then we all know you use the reciprocal. Why did I make that minus? I do not know why. X is still there. That would be 36 over 99 for you. It's equal to X. There you go. That is how you do it. Can you, can you simplify 36 over 99? Oh, yeah, easy? you actually can. Thank you for catching that. You actually can. So, yes. So you can go on your calculator, tweedly. 36 divided by 9, 99. And your answer will be 0 0.36366366. And then it will be, if you're calculating their ends, ends at 7, that means it would have been a 6 there. The number pure that would have been a 3. Because they round it. It's, not, it's just a machine. You can't just do it forever. And then if your calculator goes to uh, 4, and then the number before that was 6, then that number, that 4, would have been a 3. And it would have been 3, 6, 3, 6, like I said, it's a machine. So, then that would be 9. Okay, you would have to divide that. That would be 12 over 33. That's still divisible. That's 4 over 11. Ta-da, we're done. Now you're wondering, okay, how about if I do a f okay, give me something a little more challenging, I think we can handle this dream fruit. Well, you can't, I'm sorry. Well, actually you might, depending on what um, idea you use, but let's, let's just do this now. Like I said, it's optional to stop or pause, I'm not the rule breaker, you could just do this yourself. Um, for, so we don't like, we don't like this, we want this, so we would have to multiply by a thousand, wait, we forgot the x, multiply by a thousand, multiply by a thousand. If we make a mistake, we will always know, depending on the subtraction. So just for you guys to know, after this, just in case if I make a mistake, yeah, minus x. Actually, no, we just multiply by 100, that's a lot easier. What was I thinking? What the was I thinking? What the was I thinking? Okay, 46.9 forever minus 0 
four, six, nine forever. No, not the four, six, just the nine forever. It's equal to 100x minus x. Now, for this type of problem, if it's this long, we really want to just do it in table. How we usually do it, nine, nine, zero point four, six, nine. It says forever. We can put as many nines as we want just to make it lined up. Four, six, point five, three, zero, zero, zero. Okay. It would be 46.53 is equal to 99x. There's still a decimal. We don't want a decimal there. So again, we will multiply 10 by both sides. But luckily, we don't have to subtract 46. Oh, wait, no, it's 100. Sorry, I brain farted. 9900x. Zero, zero and we'll use the reciprocal gigantic thing in my bobber. Four six five three over nine nine zero zero. So equal to x. You think you're done, but you're not. Yeah. You have to sum the numbers to see if it's divisible, like our old trick. I don't remember what Greek mat it was in, but I remember we did that in the video. So now we have to uh, divide this by three, which dividing it by three would be... No, is it divisible by nine or not? Oh yeah, it is. Eight. Why? Because all it's... Um, Can you explain like, to like, the Like I said, like I said earlier, it's the same trick for three. Okay. Because it's divisible by three. But since it's 18 for both of them, 9 is divisible by 18, so both of them work. Ta-da! So it's divisible by, both are divisible by 9? Yes, so we will divide that by 9. So, 9 divided by 4, 6, 5, 3. Nope. That'll be 5, 45 minus that is 1, 15. Don't worry, just hang on in the boredness. 1. 9 minus that, give me that, that's 15. That will be 6. 3, that's a 7, so that's 5, that is 500, 517 over, oh, oh, we already know that's, one one zero zero. Ta da! This is our answer. Is it divisible anymore? Hopefully not. Twelve, eleven, I mean, twelve, thirteen. Yes, it's not, and yes, it's not. It could still be divided by two, but that's not. So this is all we got in its purest form. Ta da! This is x. We find our answer. And you can use, so by using this technique, you can find any number, as I repeat, any number just to find, like I think I did this last video, or my brother, to find how do you turn fra decimals into fractions, fractions into decimals, turning infinite decimals into fractions. If you know this technique and you master it down, you will find any fraction to turn but, into a decimal. But not but, for, how about pi? Oh yeah, definitely not pi, not pi. Okay, there's some numbers that are not because, working then. Because um, pi is very long, the person who invented There's pi no is. repetitive number yes. section in pi, that's why? Yes. Okay. Pi has no repeats. Repeats, yeah, it's always changing. Okay. It's just a ton of random numbers. Okay. And you just have to know the entire pi just to write it. But other than that, we don't want to go through pi. We might do it one of these days, but not today. No sorry, Bob. Now let's do a fraction decimal problem. Yes. Plus. Ta-da. So now... We want to make even, like these two don't have to be the same, but we want to be even. But some of you guys want to be, make them fair just because, okay, we're fine with that, we'll do that. 
So one, two, you would have to make multiply this by a hundred. And you can't play favorites on fractions. And same here, but just trust me, you will want that. So then it would equal to 30 over 600 plus 30 over 6. Now I want to multiply this by 5, so these are equal. It'd be 600 over 30 plus 15. Wait, what? 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 Well, it just got. Yeah, that works. Then you add those together, that'd be 750 over 30. Wait, I did something wrong. Did I do something wrong? I definitely did something wrong. Something doesn't look the same. So you multiply by 5 equal to what? 150. Wait, what? 0 0.3 multiplied by 100 equal 30. I think I did something wrong. Did we do something wrong? Well, continue. It's going to be good. Okay. 75 is a divisible by 3? Yes. So what is this then? Okay, let's think. Uh, let's see, 60 is, that's 20, 20, 25 is 70, yeah, that's 25. Okay. Then so then. it's 25, 0 over 10. You want to take out the zeros. Well, the one is still here, sorry. Yeah, the one is still here. It's 25 over okay. 1, which is 25. We get it. Okay, that's the answer. That's 25 on. is the answer, yes. So now for our final problemo. This, my friends, you would definitely, if you are strong enough without me, unless, of course, you already know algebra, you probably can do this. Top cover your head. Just do this. If you can do it, please send it as a comment saying that you were able to do problem number three in great math number 19 in your head without the video. Just please tell me that if you can. Because uh, then that tells me buff it up. Okay, so first we need to find what these decimals are. Because, oh, I forgot number three. It's not just that. Before you, before you start getting up, you start... This has to be in decimals. Yeah. So the so you pause. Okay, you got it. Let's do this. Twelve plus point. Okay, let's do this. We will have to. All of this will have to be. So this is zero point five. We all know that. 0.1 over 2. Well, how many of that has to be a 1? You have to multiply that by 5 to be a 1. No, you have to multiply that by 10. I Meaning you also have to multiply this. It will be 1 over 20. 1 over 20 will be 0 0.05. Plus that, how many of that becomes a number that you have to multiply five times to be a one. That also will multiply five, so that's a five. So this is the highest, this is the medium, this is the lowest. Ta da. So then it will be five point oh wait, I don't want to. Okay, so then you add these two, add these two together, that's five point five. Adding this, that's five point five five. Five point five five. Ta da! Huzzah! I was able to do that very easily. Yes, I technically told you guys. Yeah. So remember, do not lie when you tell me this, because then that really freaks me out. So ta-da! We did this. We are done with the fractions I just showed you. And speaking of my um, armor, uh... I had a different one. I threw away the other one because it was not doing so well. It wasn't in good shape. I actually brought this in a camp that I go into for summer camp. This is part of the other armor, but I did tape an extra thingy. So if you guys do all know me from this um, tech camps and 
You probably know me already. And the helmet I just made now. So then I made the sphere. This is actually two pieces. This was the same type of paper I used for my spikes. So I just made it as, um, I just cut it into a cylinder, wrapped it around a cylinder thingy, but I made it thick. So then that's how it gives this cool. Yeah, and I guess this could be an explosive. Cardboard explosive. That shows how cardboard can be. So if you did like this uh, video, yeah, yeah. Helmet. I might, my bro I might let my brother do this, so you might see him one of these days wearing this cool heck armor, like heck. So if you did like this video, please, please do give a big thumbs up, and please, and if you did like this, you please do subscribe also, we do want more subscribers, and if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, I think I already said that. Anyways, um, this is Great Math with me, JP, number 19, and I'll see you later. And number 20.